So hello, good morning, everybody. Welcome to our webinar today about the Mirrors' Easy LPR plugin. So first of all, let, let uh, me to introduce myself. So uh, I'm Udo Schneider, and I'm the Sales and Business Development Director at Mirrors. So and I'm the, your presenter, your host today. Before we start, I would ask you to uh, put in any questions that you have into the question and answering area of your Teams tool. So, and please add also your uh, email address. So it could be that I'm not able to answer your question during the webinar or in the Q&A session afterwards. So then it would be great to have uh, to at least contact you afterwards and to answer your question because this is fair. Yeah. So if you put just in anonym. So this, that's not really good because then we cannot contact you afterwards. But anyway, let's start today with our webinar. So what are the contents today? So first of all, I would like to talk about Miros' VMS. Um, honestly, in the other webinars, I said, OK, this is now for the guys who knows Miros' already the time to grab a cup of coffee. Today it is not because we understood we need to make it shorter. So that's the reason why we only have two slides. So in that case, you never will grab a coffee within two slides, honestly. So this would be a bet. If you can do, OK, then I'm owning you a beer. If you can't do, OK, you are owning me a beer. OK, all right. Then we would like to talk about easy, the easy LPR plug in itself. Easy LPR plug in will be launched in version 9.4 which uh, I think will be published end of this week, beginning of next week. So it is good to have some scenarios to understand why should I use this and also describe the solution. So we have three scenarios that uh, gives you some ideas of what you can do with that. And then at the end, we have also, let's say, the main features. So we will have a summary about the main features, also a demo video, uh, how to use these features, how it is looking like, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So honestly, I do not do this today on my own system as a demo. So I have recorded this, and uh, we will present this as a video that I am explaining then during the video all the features um, because I don't have any camera here that I can use for this. So and uh, it's still in the beta version. So as I said, the uh, version 9.4 will be published next week and then you can try it by yourself. So also you're welcome to if you want to try it by yourself to get a demo license from us to try it by yourself at that end. OK, and in the end we will have a Q&A session. All right, let's start with the Mirrors introduction about Mirosys and the VMS. <clears throat> Mirosys philosophy is to have an open, intelligent, easy and secure video management system. So what does it mean? Open does mean that we are open um, for communicating to third party systems. We are open to any camera manufacturer, so we really want to collect and store all the video data independent of if there are on with cameras, uh, dedicated cameras or if it's just a webcam. Open, but but open does also mean that we want to be open to communicate to third party systems and exchange the data independent if it is an IoT device or if it is an access control system, for example, and this must be done easily. Intelligent does mean OK, we are also supplying our system with more and more intelligence on the video, so to analyze the videos. Uh, LPR is one of them, so but it could be also artificial intelligence or whatever you mean. And we are getting more and more into this position that we are that we need to design and develop our artificial intelligence modeling by ourselves based on customer requirements. Easy is very important for us, so it must be easy to com communicate with mirrors on one side. That's that's one point of the metal or. Uh, part of the metal, but the other side is also that the system must be easy to use, easy to maintain, easy to install, and easy to manage, independent of if you are using four cameras or one camera only, or if you have 20,000 cameras, for example, on 600 servers. It must be easy to use, and that's our philosophy that we have. And then at the end, a system must be secured. 
for sure. So we are working very hard on giving more and more security in the system, independent of if it is about stream encryption or communication encryption, lighter, better performance in the servers, um, hardening the, the, the servers itself, the hardware itself, et cetera, et cetera. So this is our main philosophy that we have, open, intelligent, easy and secure. We are we are dealing worldwide with, uh, let's say, um, our partners. And our partners could be a distributor, could be an integrator, an installer, and system house or a technology partner. So, and that's the reason why we are so open because we are looking to the left and to the right and, 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 and really trying to find out what could be the best solution for our customers beside our VMS. And this is also reflecting our ecosystem at the end. So uh, you see a lot of integrations that we have or a lot of, uh, let's say, uh, intercommunications between third party systems. Sometimes we are integrated into third party like a control and command and control system. On the other side, we have e exchange uh, data exchange with some uh, um, with some of uh, those providers here. Um, so and this this list is growing more and more. But we are feeling also well with, uh, let's say, all different kind of vertical markets. So we have uh, expertise in any of, of these vertical markets. And as I said, we are looking to the left and to the right. What technologies beside mirrors, beside the camera, could support our partners, support our customer to give them a solution that is up their life? And that's our philosophy. That's our credo, as we say in Germany. Um, and you can really prove on this and, and then test us and trial us on this. So if you have any ideas, let us talk. Yeah, so that's about Mirosys. So let's start with the Mirosys Easy LPR plugin. As I said, this is a uh, plugin that will be launched in version 9.4, available, let's say, beginning of next week. And this plugin, what does, this, does it mean? So first of all, this is a camera based license plate recognition system. So we are using third party cameras, which are doing the license plate recognition in the cameras and we read out the data and manage them in our system. So this is a spotter plugin, as I said. And um, it is valuable for or valid for track and regulate access control for cars. So it could trigger alarms based on access control rights. So for example, on black and white listing. And at the end, it should really optimize and eliminate this manual process by opening a barrier. If you see a customer is coming or uh, an employee is coming, et cetera, et cetera. We want to, let's say, automate this and make it automatically. And then it should also support a wide range of different application scenarios. And to this scenario, three of them, I will come later. So supported cameras are cameras from Axis, Dahua and Hegvision. So Hegvision, Dahua and Axis, they have their own LPR cameras and we are supporting them. That means we are reading out the data out of these cameras. We can manage the lists in the data in the cameras, the black and white lists in the cameras from a central point of view. So we are cooperating very closely with those guys. It is multilingual. Recognition, this does mean, or multinational recognition, that this does mean for, let's say, all the European license plates, um, all the plates that those cameras are supporting, we have also the support inside our system. Then we have a very high recognition rate, so um, a very fast recognition rate as well. So you can see it afterwards that it is very quickly done. Uh, because it's based on the camera, so it is not um, using our performance, the server performance is using the, the performance of the camera. And then it's also very cost effective, uh, effective technology because an LPR camera is not that um, is not that um, expensive as it has been in the past. I remember the times when we had our own LPR system based on the on the on the server. It was limited or it was set up to a minimum of four cameras. It was high price. 
In this case, it's a very low price solution, very cost effective solution that we are supporting here with our LPR plugin. OK, let's have a chat about some scenarios to give you ideas what you can do with this. And I'm pretty sure you have your own ideas what you can do with this, so it would be great to share these ideas together with you. So really contact us in that way. All right, scenario one, keyless entry. This was an example for me that I found very interesting. So maybe you are the manager of a hotel, a residential area, a shopping mall, or an office, office or industrial area. And you want to open your car barriers, your gates or your garage, garage doors without any keys or touchless, let's say in that way, because it might be more sophisticated for you um, and it would ease up your life. Why? So first of all, I could imagine that um, to touch an, uh, let's say, keyboard today and put in the code in uh, this COVID pandemic situation today is not very good. So um, who is um, then cleaning this up afterwards? Yeah, so it is not very welcome. So a keyless entry would be great. Or you have the problem that people are losing and forgetting the key cards very often. Then they're calling you and say, please open the gate. I'm here, I'm uh, Mr. So-and-so and I have to write. You need to check your lists. Um, maybe written down there and saying, OK, yes, this is the car, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So it's taking time and all the employees are waiting behind this guy. So in that case, a keyless entry would be good to use this number plate recognition uh, cameras and also our easy plug in. Um, how does it work? So you may have an entrance here and uh, uh, a, a gate, a rolling gate here. Uh, you have a license plate recognition camera here. You may have an exit on the other side with a barrier here and you have uh, a license plate recognition camera here. In addition, you have you are using our VMS server, so you're recording our, uh, your cameras anyway and you're using this easy LPR plugin. Then you may have also an Ethernet I.O. box from Moxa, for example, to manage uh, to handle this door or to handle this barrier, or you're using the camera I.O.s by itself uh, connected to the doors, connected to these cameras, uh, connected to the, to the barrier. So what is happening if somebody is uh, um, entering the entrance? So first of all, the camera is sending the uh, license plate recognition information to the VMS server. So this is my license plate. If you see me on the motorway, say hello, would be great to meet you. And then the uh, Mirza server is deciding, OK, is he whitelisted or is he blacklisted or isn't he listed? So he's seen, OK, I'm whitelisted. Then he's taking this and saying, OK, now I'm can send out an information via the Ethernet box to open this barrier and to close it afterwards again. So you see no need for having a key card, no need for putting in code into an, 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 uh, a keyboard or whatever. So you manage this automatically, no issues. And this is also working depending on the cameras and the camera views for sure, also with dirty license plates what we have during winter time, for example, it is also working in that way. So a quick and easy solution based on the VMS machines, based on, on the, the, the license plate recognition uh, on the camera and based on the easy LPR plugin. Another scenario could be that you have already, for example, multiple cameras on site. So maybe again, you are managing some hotel or official industry area, but you have multiple entrances and exits for cars. So and in on all these uh, uh, entrances and accesses, you have installed already an LPR camera. And then you may have done, for example, you have chosen an access camera for this entrance and a Hick vision camera for this entrance and Dahua camera for this exit. And you imagine, could imagine right now, so to manage the black and white lists in the cameras could be a nightmare because you need to touch every single camera, for example, and you manage via the homepage of this camera all the black and white listing. So why not? using 
a centralized solution for this to manage all the plates lists inside the video management system, independent on the manufacturer. It could also be that you're using the HIG vision cameras for today for all your entrances and exits, and in future you want to use a different camera or to upgrade the cameras in the same way. So you need, need to do this as well. So in that case, the solution is our list management. So in that case, out of Spotter, you can manage the black and white lists of all of those cameras. You can handle this. You can add, edit, remove plate numbers. You can import them. You can export them. A large amount of plates. Yeah, so I show you later on how this is working. And you can upload those lists to selected cameras or to all cameras at one time. And that's the important message. There is no need anymore to open the home page or the web page of the camera, managing this then and saving it, storing it, closing it. You can do this from the Mirrorsys Spotter Easy LPR plugin. I show you later how it is working. So the solution is very easy. The solution is very simplified. A third scenario might happen. There are banned cars, let's say, cars that you don't want to see in your area. So you want to handle them on a blacklist to manage the banned cars, but you want to have also getting alarms if these cars are entering your area because you are taking, maybe you're using the philosophy of not having any barriers anymore. Or this is, uh, let's say, an area which has no barriers. So I remember there is a uh, um, parking lot uh, close to the city here, um, which is a private owned parking lot where the, 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 the city buses are uh, um, parked overnight. Yeah, and if the bus drivers are coming, they're parking their own car, the private cars, they are taking the bus and moving out. And when this was opened, it was taking only I think two or three, three weeks. And then all the park and ride guys have parked their own cars there and there was no space for the buses anymore. So in that case, it would be very easy to identify, uh, to set up a number plate camera um, in front of this and then creating an alarm if, and let's say, non-listed car is entering this area and then giving them a shout, for example, hey guy, uh, this is a private owned area, please leave. Yeah. And if he's not leaving, for example, then say, okay, guy, then we are um, putting you out in that way. So a lot of possibilities that you have right now. So this is the third scenario. In that case, the solution is really using our VMS behind this to say, okay, there is a car that is not listed. The license plate is not listed. Please create an alarm because this is not allowed. Or you have a blacklist car, blacklisted car in that. It's like, I don't want to have this, this car on my, my area into in, in, in my region. So please create an alarm, pop up a video, open up an, uh, let's say, um, a communication channel to a loudspeaker, um, to a loudspeaker horn there and uh, give them a, a message that he should leave and that I don't want to see him. Yeah, so a very simple way by using this LPR as a LPR uh, plugin as an, uh, let's say, part of the whole solution inside the VMS. So I do hope it gave you some, let's say, ideas what we can do with them. I'm, I'm pretty sure we can talk now with more and more scenarios, what could happen, what could we do, etc. give you a solution for that. Maybe you have some of your own in mind, how you can use it. Then let's discuss this and we can show you how the solution would like, would look like. Let's talk about the uh, Mirrors' easy LPR features now. So first of all, the main feature list, okay. We have this real-time vehicle monitoring. That means that we monitor them um, in the live view. So you can select a camera and then you see that all the uh, information are listed there. All this information are written into the database beside. That's, that's very important because you can also search for them. So you can do multiple license plate search. Uh, have, you have, can have multiple license search criterias 
um, with a single camera in that way. So you can select a camera and say, okay, search me all cars that are coming from, let's say, Munich in this time, period of time. So very simple to search and then you click on this on, on each license plate and you see immediately when the car has entered on the video. Then you have this black and white listing management um, that enables you to set up, okay, these cars, these guys are allowed to come, these guys are not allowed to come, but you can manage this also in that way that you say, okay, white listing is for employees and the black listing is, let's say, for guests. So you can manage them based on the blacklist or let's say this is then not a blacklist, it is a guest list, but you can manage also guests in this and um, enable them and disable them. Then you can import and export the plate number lists um, in a uh, CSV format or an, uh, it, it, this, uh, this is a, a, a format that can be read by Excel, sheet, uh, by Excel sheets as well. Then you can upload pl um, plate number lists to selected camera or to all the cameras. And at the end, you can do also alarm triggering based on the license plate detection. And that's very important. So you are getting more interaction with the license plate cameras inside the VMAS. How does it look like? So I would like to go through you to all these, um, let's say, main features by showing you a video and commenting a video. Forgive me, I don't have today um, my own demo here because I'm not owning some of the, one of these cameras and this is still in beta version, so I, I don't want to use this. I'm, I'm living countryside, so there are not many license plates which are appearing on my house. So we would wait sometimes for hours that the car is appearing. So in that case, it doesn't make sense to have a recording from our demo system. Um, in the headquarter and uh, you can also watch this video commanded by a lovely lady with a lovely voice um, on one of the trainings videos afterwards. But let's let's start with that. OK. So how is the user interface looking like? So first of all, you have the selection of the camera, license plate camera that you want to deal with. And you have these uh, three tabs here, list, live, search and lists. Then you have this LPR information windows, which shows time, plate number, list, picture from the plate and the confidence level of recognizing the license plate. And at the end, you have also the video here for live and playback from the selected camera, LPR camera. So that's it, very simple. So how is looking the live view? Let's select the Easy LPR plugin and open it, first of all. Then select one of the cameras. And you see also the live view appears here. And then if the system is start of the camera is recognizing from the beginning of the start of this live view, uh, recognizing uh, a license plates, it automatically lists them here in this list. And you see now here the timestamp, the plate number in written form, if it is notified in any of the black and white lists, a picture, a snapshot, and the confidence. So you see 99%, so you can be sure that is the license plate. So, and maybe sometimes it's showing also 50% depending on the view. Um, but in most of the cases I have seen here, especially in this uh, camera view, it is uh, 99%. How can you select a plate from the live view? So if you have here the live view list, so the list the, the system is running, so you just click on one of the uh, listed uh, number plates. So just select one, and then automatically the stream is jumping or the recordings is the recording is jumping to the scenario. You see also here downwards a white listed camera. Any all the other cameras are uh, not in any lists, not in the white and the black list, so they're never listed. So, and you see also that the live view is still continuing. So also there are uh, appearing new uh, license plates on top. And then you can use also the playback buttons, the jump buttons, etc., to manage the video recording and watch the scenario, watch the video. 
So very simple as you use it also in the other search functions that we have in our Spotter plugin. Very easy. The easy LPR search view, how it is looking like. OK, let's move to the search tab. So you see right now here that you can select the camera. You are able to select the time, the start and the stop time. By date and time. And then you have also the possibility to say, OK, I want to have a search in all the lists or not in any list or blacklist, whitelist or black and white list. So it gives you all the capabilities to search in both of the lists or in no list. And then you can set up the license plate. So it's not necessary to search for the whole license plate. You can do this, but you can search also, for example, for the city code or for some digits inside the license. And then you see the results and by clicking onto the result. It is automatically jumping. To the recordings. Then you can also, let's say, search in an already searched um, list by, let's say, another city code, and then it is taking out of the search also the recognized license plates, and then again, you can watch the videos. How can be done the list management in Easy LPR plugin? So first of all, we would like to add a plate to the, for example, blacklist. OK, we go to the lists. And you see here blacklist and whitelist, two lists. You see there are some plates in the whitelist and now we can add a plate to the blacklist. By typing in the license plate. We save it. And that's done. So we can, for example, also add another one. And it's done. Yeah, another one, etc., etc. So that's very easy to add, for example, cameras to any of those lists. OK, let's add a plate to the whitelist by using the copy and paste functionality. So again, we are going to the live mode and we have identified that this license plate we want to add to the whitelist. It's not listed, so we copy it. Yes, copy. Then we go to the lists. And you see here adding this to the whitelist. So we're adding a new license plate to the whitelist. Clicking on add. And then we paste it. Like you used to do this in uh, Microsoft anyway, then we save it. We can do this with a second one, etc., etc. Taking another one. Copy and paste. Yeah. So a very simple solution to manage your cameras. Or your, your lists, sorry. <laughs> So two possibilities to manage your license plate lists. Then is there's also a possibility to move the plates between the lists. So maybe you have one guy who is on the blacklist and you want to add them to him to the white list. Then it's very easy. You can use this both arrows to interchange or exchange the, um, the number plates between the lists as it is done here. Very simple. So this is the standard in 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 uh, in our configuration tool system manager anyway. So we use it here as well. Okay, but we can also export plate lists. So imagine that you have, for example, uh, set up those lists and you want to export them. Then we're using the export button, and then those black and white lists are exported to an XML file or a CSV file. So I learned between the German and the uh, English webinar that we have also support of the CSV files as well. So we do it here with an, via an XML file, which is a little bit more tricky to read. So give them a name, give it a name. 
is ELPR whatsoever. Yeah, number list. Save it. Clicking on the button. Come on, do it. Yes, great, lovely. All right, so what is the content of this easy LPR XML file? Let's have a look too. So we're using, for example, Notepad to edit this and to open it. And this is now the list. So we have type one list and type two list. The type one is the black list and the type two is the white list. And you see all the plates listed under this list. And that's how it is looking like. And so if we have this list, we can edit it also in this XML file or CSV file. So let's take this XML file again, edit it with Notepad++. A nice tool, by the way, a really nice tool. And then we can add some additional plates by, let's say, copying this line six and insert it or paste it as a line seven or eight, depending on how many plates we want to add. We do it yet right now. Yeah, and a second time. OK, and then we can change the license plate itself. To a new one. OK. So my colleague is doing this also for the second one. As I said, uh, we are launching this together also with CSV files, so that's then much easier because then you can use the Excel um, Excel application to do this in the same way, in a, let's say in a much simpler way by having a list in the Excel format. So he's adding some additional to the white list here as well. Uh, let, let him do this. Oh yeah, he forgot this uh, arrow in front of the plate so that the system is knowing okay this is a plate now and not a list yeah and then he's changing this also this done okay then saving it if he's ready Maybe give it a better name or a new name, a new version. So if you made a mistake or something like this, so to have the original version already existing, so let's name it version two. Yes, and save it. OK, so now we are going to import this playlist to easy LPR. That's one of the next steps. How we are doing this, so we go to the lists and you see the import button here below. Yes, this one. By clicking on this. You can select the file that you want to import. So this is version two. Yes. Yeah, let's move it a little bit so that you can see also the changes that are coming up when we are importing this right now. So we are clicking on open it and you see immediately the new license plates, the new lists are imported. So very nice, very sophisticated from my point of view. Do you agree? I think so. OK, now we can also upload the plate number lists to the cameras. And that's very interesting because you remember the scenario that I have shown you for the multiple cameras. We have here this upload button. By clicking on this upload button, we can upload the black and the white list immediately to selected cameras or to all cameras which are in the system. So you see here only one camera, which is ticked, so you upload it. 
you push the upload button and the lists are uploaded. So you see also the status right now and you can be sure that all the cameras have the same lists. Very interesting, very interesting to manage multiple cameras with one single tool. Yeah, that's so far about our solution. So this was the demo. So you see, very simple, but very sophisticated. So this was my impression, and I think you have a lot of ideas and maybe also a lot of questions. So we are coming now. Yeah, to the Q&A session. Um, at the end, so just remember, I have shown some scenarios how to use it. What could be the scenario of this uh, use it of the usage of this uh, plugin? Um, we have shown you the main features, and we have shown also the demo how to use how to use it, how to manage the the light the, the 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 plates, how to manage the lists, how to upload the lists. So, in that case, and I'm now really eager to hear your questions if you have any. Okay, I see there are some questions. So how many cameras can you manage uh, in the system, in the VMS? Uh, I think this is, uh, there is no limit so far as I know um, how many cameras you can manage. Um, so in that case, it does not matter for us, honestly, because uh, it's just an interconnect between the camera and taking the metadata out. So, um, and how many cameras are in the lists? Does not matter, honestly. Then the question is, how is the licensing? OK, the licensing is very easy, so you are buying one single license per camera that is connected. That means if you have an LPR camera, then you buy a license for this LPR camera. If you have five LPR cameras in the system, you buy five license licenses for these five LPR cameras, and then you can enable them in the um, VCA configuration of the camera or VCA tab of the camera in the system manager, then you can select OK, like the VCA as well. Um, there is a LPR camera. I want to have a LPR for this camera and for this camera and for this camera. There is no license for the plugin itself. So in that case, if you have one or two or three or four users, it does not matter for us. Um, there are user rights for this, uh, with, so the user can be managed depending on the rights. So you can say, okay, he is, you enable this user group to use this plugin. You are enabling this user group to editing the lists or um, to manage the lists. You can enable this user group to search for uh, for license plates, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So as uh, when you are familiar with the with the user rights, so are they the same user rights for the plugins that you are used to use for other uh, plugins as well? Okay, there is a question about the costs as well. Um, okay, what's about the cost? So um, I, I would not say the pricing today. Um, the price is per camera that is connected as an LPR camera. And uh, the price itself is, let's say, a little bit higher than the um, the enterprise license, but much cheaper uh, than the camera. So in that case, also a very sophisticated and price effective solution. So if you want to get pricing or want to get a price proposal, please contact us. There is no problem. Um, there is another question. Will there be additional camera manufacturers in the future? Yes, there will be. It depends on you. If you have a project and you say, OK, I would like to have those camera manufacturer um, also implemented, just contact us. So I got this uh, information today from one of my German partners. He said, Udo, very nice, but we are using those cameras. Can you do this? I said, yeah, let's talk to the development and then we need to uh, set up a proxy driver for this. Uh, we need to check if the cameras are able to send the metadata out. This is also very important in that way. Uh, and then we will implement this. So this is not bounded to those three manufacturers today. Um, there is also a question, what will be the future? <laughs> Good question, all right, okay. Um, this is the first plugin that we are bringing for LPR. So it is supporting the LPR cameras itself. So this does mean if you have the LPR camera 
already in your system. We are supporting these cameras and you can manage it from a central point of view. We know that a lot of partners, are, our customers are still doing this. I have one customer who is using access cameras, but he needs to manage them via the, the uh, access um, web page only. So today he can use it with the uh, with the easy LPR plugin. The future will be in the next version, version 9.5, which will be launched, let's say in Q1, end of Q1, in March, we will have also the smart LPR plugin. This does mean we can use any camera in the system to do LPR. We do the LPR based on the server, on our servers, and we can do it for all the cameras, independent of if it is a VGA camera, if it is an analog camera, or if it is a camera manufacturer, which is, uh, let's say, a very exotic one. We can do it. We need to have a certain size of the uh, license plate, that's for sure. But I saw the first um, modeling uh, results right now um, from our developers, and it was I was very impressed how accurate they can do it and how good the, 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 the uh, accuracy is. So in that case, I'm, I'm very eager to see this as well. Nearby said we will also launch a facial recognition in that, so we will have more plugins um, to do searches and to use the intelligence of the camera or different models on the server as well. OK, any additional questions that we have so far? <laughs> <laughs> no, not that I see. I know that I have to wait a couple of seconds because I, there is a uh, time delay between asking this question to you and your answer already. OK, there was one question coming. OK, when will it be launched? So as I said, in version 9.4, which will be launched uh, next week, so uh, we will have also additional features in version 9.4. One of the most important features as well next to the easy LPR plugin will be the HTML5 web client. So I've seen the first betas. I'm trying this out. I'm testing this right now and we will have also, a, let's say, a short and quick webinar about this as well to show how this is working. Um, so a very good milestone for us, this version 9.4. And um, if you want to try it out, please contact us. Yeah, so we can send us send you a demo, um, a demo uh, a software package, a demo license so that you can try it out. OK, if there are no more questions. I at the end would like to thank you for attending this Mirrors webinar. I hope it was a bit of fun for you. It was a good information and great and very useful information for you that I have shared with you. And I'm very eager to get your feedback uh, about this plugin, if it is useful, what could be improved, what is great. Um, maybe you have different scenarios that you want to discuss with us because we have more LPR scenarios or more LPR capabilities also with other software in our house that we can share with you, especially if you have very complex scenarios. For example, we can maybe use also our ACMS solution in that case, which gives you um, unlimited uh, capabilities of functionalities. But let's have a chat about this. So it would be great if you come in touch or get in touch with us, uh, with my team, with myself. So if you want to do this, please contact us either via sales at mirrorsys.com or udo.schneider at mirrorsys.com. And I would be very glad to have you on board when we have our next webinar. I'm not sure when it will be happen, maybe before Christmas, but I'm not really sure if this would happen before Christmas, then we will see us in January latest. And again, thank you for attending this webinar. Stay healthy, have a good time. And if you are not seeing us anymore, if you are not hearing us anymore, have a good Christmas time and see you in the next year. Bye bye. All the best. <laughs>